Again, congratulations on starting your paparazzi business. We're gonna get you rolling on the right foot. We've talked about in previous videos, things like contacting your sponsor and designing your business, which is maybe brainstorming a business name, thinking of profit goals that you have for your business. And then we also covered how to log into your back office and how to set up your replicated site, which is where your customers can shop online through paparazzi. Now we're gonna cover some things that you need to prepare kind of logistics wise if you plan on selling online. When you sell online, you wanna make sure that you are set up and ready to roll so that when you sell pieces to your customers, you're ready to get them their pieces right away and you have everything flowing smoothly. While you're waiting for your kit, you want to go ahead and set up a way that you can accept payments. I prefer to use PayPal and that's what I will have training videos on. Some other options are Square. So you can decide what's gonna be best for you, maybe Google pros and cons. Again, I prefer PayPal, but it's totally up to you, but you'll wanna go ahead and set that account up. To set up a PayPal account, go to paypal.com and you will come to this landing page. Click sign up in the upper right hand corner. You're going to want to sign up for a business account so that you can send invoices. Click next. Here is where you will enter in the email address that you would like to sign up for and hit continue. Next, you will need a password with eight characters, one number or symbol. Next, you will need to fill in your business information with your name, last name, business name. This is what you have decided to call your business. For me, I would type in Sugar Bee Bling. You can go ahead and fill out everything and agree to their policies and create your account as it walks you through the rest of the steps. Then you're gonna wanna order some shipping supplies because while you're waiting for your kit to come, you can be waiting for your shipping supplies to come as well so that you can hit the ground running when everything arrives. You're definitely gonna to wanna to order labels. Labels allow you the flexibility to be able to print your mailing or your shipping labels from home. When you print shipping labels from home, it is at a discounted rate. It will save you money to print labels from home. If you hand write the addresses onto your packages and walk into the post office, you will be paying more for postage. So you wanna be able to print from home. These are label sheets that you can run through your regular home printer and then once they print off, you peel them off, they are sticky and you can print, stick them on your package. I recommend having labels, it's not a have to, you could print onto paper and tape each one onto a package if you would like to start that way. It's just a little more tedious. Right along with labels, you're gonna need something to send your cute jewelry out to your customers in. So I recommend bubble mailers. The bubble means that they're a little more protected and cushy. And I prefer to have a couple of sizes on hand. It's, it's up to you what size and color of bubble mailers that you would like to get. These ones, they're about six by nine. They are called size number zero. And these ones here are about eight by 10 and they are called size number two. I like to keep both of those on hand. Again, you can find what works best for you. I enjoy having two sizes because I have different order quantities and so smaller orders can use a smaller mailer, larger orders can go in the larger mailer. You're also gonna need a postal scale. They run about $20. Your postal scale is what you are going to use to weigh each package. When you print your shipping label, you will need to enter in how much your package weighs and that's gonna determine how much you pay for postage. So you'll need to know down to the ounce how much each package weighs. So you'll need a shipping scale. If you plan on selling online using live sales, you also wanna consider your lighting. You don't have to go out right away and purchase a lot of expensive lighting, but I just want you to Figure out maybe what you have at home that might work to use to keep your area bright and well lit. Maybe you have some lamps that you can use. Um, maybe you add extra lighting up top. It's, it's up to you to figure that out and see what works best. There are lighting options that you can order. These are called ring lights and it's a light that goes all the way around. It's pretty flattering. This is a very large ring light. I also have this little bitty desk ring light. You can see he's just small. 
So you can try out different versions of ring lights if you're at that point and want to do that. Another thing you wanna figure out if you're going to do live videos is how you're gonna hold your phone. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I stacked up some boxes, got a tin can, and set my phone in front of the can on top of the boxes. Um, if you want to, you can purchase maybe a phone holder, but I would recommend just seeing what you have already and making it work. To recap, what you're gonna do while you're waiting for your kit, if you plan on having online sales, is to set up an account where you can accept payments, like PayPal or Square, and then order a few supplies that you will need for shipping once you get your pieces in and want to get it out to your customers. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I have lots more videos here on YouTube. I'm Mandy with Sugar Bay Bling, and I wanna get you set up and on your way to rock your business.